Jason, good morning. If you could, can you give us an update? What's going on in court today? Well, today there's a, a forensic expert that is explaining how, um, uh, well, many things, but how the knife that they they have that they uh, think is a murder weapon is way too big and, and demonstrated how it had to have been a much smaller knife that caused all the wounds. He's talking about how the fact that the, the space available that this crime happened in is so tiny that you can't have had four people in that room. In, in some kind of a tussle. Ms. Bell, let me ask you, how, how do you feel? You've, you've seen and you've heard the reports. You've had a chance to see how this, this court system works. Do you feel confident your daughter can be acquitted? Oh, well, I, have, I don't have any other choice. I have to continue to feel confident that, that she'll be acquitted. She said that um, when she was Can you talk to me about the, the phone call? During your testimony yesterday, you talked about the phone calls that you had gotten from Amanda after she discovered Meredith's body. Can you describe her demeanor, what was said in those phone calls? Well, she, in the first phone call, she was just very concerned. She had f seen a few things out of place in her house. She went back to get Raffaele. They came back. Um, she was trying to get a hold of all of her roommates. They could get a hold of everybody but Meredith. And then, then they came, became quite concerned when they couldn't get a hold of Meredith and were pounding on the door. And, and then they called the police. You saw Amanda's testimony. How do you feel she did? Well, I think she did amazing. She did a great job, and I've heard that from everybody who, who, who watched her. Now, the defense, like you mentioned, they've got their forensic uh, experts that are coming to testify. They're expected to testify that the police work was so bad. The DNA, the DNA evidence is so bad. Do you think that that is the path to acquittal for Amanda? Well, you know, I, the, the DNA is just one part. I think one of the big things that you don't hear a lot about the, is the fact that in actual, at the actual crime scene, there's no, no physical evidence of Amanda, not a hair, not a fingerprint, not a, not a nothing. Um, you know, that, I think, is a really bigger piece. Uh, the DNA uh, is so insignificant. It's this tiny spot. It's not blood. It could well have come from, you know, who knows where.